Hello, my name is Adam Clark, and I'm going to be doing a stencil walkthrough tutorial. Uh, it's one of the tutorials that they actually got on their own website, and we're going to be going through the whole tutorial together, and hopefully it will give you a better understanding about how stencil works, and you can follow along as I'm kind of completing the tutorial as well. Uh, so let's get started straight away. So the one we're going to be doing is Crash Course 2, uh, Space Invaders. Um, and uh, what this does is uh, it says the following topics will be covered. And it's uh, starting a blank game. You'll be able to import some assets. And that's graphics, sounds, and background. You'll be setting up the scene. You'll be making a ship with the two-way motion. and making bullets with fire cannons, making enemies. There'll be a winning element to it. Uh, you do final touches, publishing, and next steps. And then challenges. So let's... Um, so let's get yeah. started. Oh, and let me introduce, uh, this is my son Django. Say hello. Hello. Hello, Django's just playing a bit of Minecraft next door to me. So if you can hear um, any Minecraft bits or if you can hear any clicking, it's just Django. Okay, so let's get started on this. Um, so uh, first of all, you're going to need some materials uh, to actually do this uh, yeah. tutorial. Uh, and it says here, download a zip file containing the assets used in this crash course. So let's click that and make sure we've downloaded that zipped uh, assets file. All that does is it's basically a container with some of those graphics that we're going to be using for the file. So click here to create a new game. And what we do is uh, we get uh, it says uh, a little dialog box comes up and it says what game of what kind of game do you want to create? And it's got a load of already uh, starting games that you can kind of start with. But what we want is the blank game right at the bottom. So we're going to press next on that. Once you press next, you can we can decide a few things. We can obviously decide the, the title of the game. We can give it a little description. And we can say what kind of screen size do we want it to be. Uh, we want it to be actually uh, 640 by 480. So we're going to leave it just as just as it is there. Okay. Uh, and let's put invaders. Invaders on the top there. And once we're happy with that, we can press create. Okay, so that's just part one, just to creating a, a simple blank game. So let's go on to part two. Part two, creating actor types. Remember, make sure you've got that uh, downloaded uh, zip file. Um, uh, the link will be, I'll put the link for that zip file in the description as well. Uh, so now you've got a blank game, it's time to create your actor types. And we're going to start with our spaceship. So we're going to go into actor types up here. And it says this game contains no actor types. Click here to create one. Uh, so, well, we better do that then. So we click there. And we've got another little dialog box come up. So we're going to say, well, this is the ship. So we're going to put in ship and press create. We've just created a new tab up here. And we've got something like uh, appearance, behaviors, events, collisions, physics, and properties. And basically, if we go back, we can go back to the dashboard and we can go back to the ship. Now, if we go to the dashboard, we can see actor types here. It's got a little one in, and that's our actor type. It's got a little warning triangle because there's nothing in there at the moment. We can double click that, and it'll open up this tab. For example, if we close that tab, we can double click this to open up that tab again. Okay, so what we need to do now is we need to import some materials, some graphics uh, into this, uh, this uh, actor type. Um, now that we have an actor type, we need to import images for animations, the graphics for our actor type that we will see on screen. Click the large box with the dotted line around on the right. Doing so will bring up an animation editor where you can import graphics on a per animation basis. An animation represents a state that the actor could be in, such as walking, running, jumping, etc. Next, click the name of the animation, something like flying. Uh, is fine in this case. After that, click the dotted line around the box. So let's do all, all these bits. So we click here and we can say, uh, so this is our animation uh, box and there's our animation up here. We're going to change the name. We're going to say flying and we want it to loop and then we can click down here to create our first frame. Okay. So we need to choose an image. So we're going to choose an image. And here's our game assets that we, we created. And what we're going to do is we need ship flying, which is that one down there. So we're going to open that up. And there we have a ship flying. Now, 
it's not just one ship it's kind of in a strip and it, these are kind of uh, like an animation strip so what we're going to need to do is we need to chop these up into pieces uh, so that's what all these bits are for columns rows horizontal spacing vertical spacing so let's put there's one two three four ships there so if we put four in here we can see that it's divided this up into four pieces and obviously there are no rows if there are we could have more but I think that's just about it for now let's just read the tutorial the image we've supplied you has four frames four single images that you'll play in order to make our flying animation once you've selected the images set the value in the columns field to four and this will split our image evenly into four frames as shown as I just did then now that we have our single animation we need to choose the correct physics settings for our ship uh, click on the physics tab as shown so we'll, say, we'll press add on there and we can see that there's our ship uh, already spliced into four now we can click on the physics section here and we need to turn some of these radio buttons on or off so let's just have a little think about what they are the first page that will appear is the general page under physics leave the what kind of actor type option set to normal so what kind of act normal okay uh, can rotate no 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 no, no. no, no, no. Uh, affected by gravity no because our ship is going to be flying at the bottom of the screen going left and right and firing buttons uh, kind of uh, firing uh, laser beams up at the aliens that are coming down it's a classic um, classic space invaders game so once you've done all those bits so it's a normal actor it can't rotate and it is not affected by gravity uh, I think we've we've done for the the physics of the actor uh, step 12 now we need to set the collision group so that our actor that our actor belongs to. This will allow us to determine what our ship can collide with and what it can't. Click the properties tab as shown below. So it's this properties over here. And we need to choose a group. So the group is in actors. Yeah. So not so. Set the group to players as shown. Right, okay, so players. If you want to create more groups, click the edit groups button on the right and you can read more about creating groups uh, on the link there in the in the uh, in the website. Note the players group is built into stencil and will appear by default when you click on the drop down menu. So we didn't even have to kind of create it already assumes that there are players in our game. Okay, and once we've done that, it's time to save our game. So we go up to File, Save Game, and make sure it's saved. If it's the first time you've saved it, obviously you're going to have to think about where you're going to put it. So put it somewhere sensible, either on a desktop or in your Documents folder. Let's go on to Part 3. Part 3, Actor Collisions. Step 15, we've got one actor type so far, but before we can go any further, we need to organize our actor types into what are called collision groups. The collision group an actor belongs to determines what other actors can and can't collide with. To start, click the settings button at the top of Stencil's interface in the upper left. Hmm, settings, settings, it's this thing here. So we'll click that. Uh, a new dialog box will pop up uh, that shows the groups in your game. Uh, okay, okay. Groups in the game, groups in the game. Oh, they're down here, groups, there we go. So we've got groups on the right, players, tiles, doodads, actors, regions. Okay, so we're going to have to create two new um, collision groups. One which is enemies and one which is bullets. So to do that, you create a new, click on the new, uh, create new button, which is here. Uh, and we're going to call this one enemies, N -E enemies. Have I spelled that right? No. Nope. Enemies. And press create. And uh, what we've got this, so we've got the name. We could obviously have a description if you wanted to. And it collides with players, actors, enemies, tiles. Oh. I don't have to worry about that. Let's create a new, oh, another one. No, I'm a 
You did. Let's make a new one, which is the bullets. Bullets. I'm going to press create here as well. Okay, and bullets will collide with enemies. So we can kind of check that one off. Let's go to part four. Part four, creating more actor types and importing a background. Now that we've got our new collision groups, we need to create our enemy ship actor type. Yeah. Use the same steps as you used to create the ship actor type to create the enemy ship. Here's a brief reminder. Click the dashboard tab. Done. Click the actor types. Done. Click on the dotted line to create a new actor type. Done. Uh, name the new actor type enemy ship. Enemy ship. Done. Um, add an animation by selecting the graphic we provided. Use the alien grab image and name our first animation normal. Well, let's see if we can do that then. Actor types contains no animations. Click here to get the frame. We'll choose an image. Uh, and we're looking for actor. Uh, alien grab a PNG. There we go. Open that up. And it's just one image, so we don't have to change the columns or the spacing. And press add. Now, I wonder if we have to change our animation. Well, there isn't any animation, so that's just it. Animation is zero. Uh, name our first animation normal. Oh, I see. Normal. Normal. Oops. Okay, we're done. Uh, and now we obviously have to do about our physics, I think. So we've created our enemy ship actor type and we've added an animation. And now we need to set its physics settings. So what kind of actor type is it? It cannot be pushed. So let's go to physics. It cannot be pushed. Can it rotate? No, no, no. Is it affected by gravity? No. Well, that's blanked out anyway. So that must be about why it can't be pushed. And the next we're going to choose our uh, collision group. Okay. So I think that's in properties again, if we remind ourselves. Yep. And remember down here, choose a group. So it is enemies. Okay. Uh, next, create the bullet, bullet actor type and follow the same steps as we did to create the ship. Okay. So we go to the dashboard. We click here. We're going to call this one bullet. Create. We're going to add an animation. So we're going to choose an image. Um, what image is it? Is it that? It looks like that. And I think we chop this one into three. And we'll add that. Now, what if I name their one? I'm putting the graphics to animation. We'll call this fire. Okay. And we'll do. We'll go to physics. And I think it's normal. Yeah. It cannot rotate and it is not affected by gravity. And then we can go to properties and it is bullets. Okay, cool. Um, with our act types created, we need to import a background image to use in the scene we'll, we'll create later. Uh, click the dashboard and then go on to backgrounds. So we'll click the Did dashboard. Oh dear. So let's click on backgrounds. And this game contains no backgrounds. Click here to create one. So we'll click there and we'll call it stars, stars, create. Okay. Uh, click here to add a frame. Okay. So we click there and we choose an image and I think we want this space background here. Ooh, look at that. So that's our background image sorted. Uh, I think let's just read on this to make sure we don't have to do anything else. Let's do create button. That's it. Let's go to part five. Part five, importing sounds. 
Now it's time to import our music and sound files. This time we're going to show you how different ways to import assets by dragging and dropping files. First click the dashboard and then on sounds. Dashboard. Oops. Dashboard. Sounds. Uh, with the sound file on your desktop, um, general space shooter spacey level PNG and exposing PNG, click on one and drag it over to the dotted line uh, below. Note that PNG files with the same name mentioned in the above visit assets will, will actually contain the sound data. Whoa. Um, well, let's have a little look. Okay. So we've got general shooter space level PNG and we've got explosion PNG. So I'm just going to click and drag that in here. Drop it. Okay, well, that's done that one. And back to dashboard. Click here to quick new sound cancel. Oh, did we just drag it in? Drag it in. It works just like that. As it okay, cool. Very nice. Okay, cool. Um, so it's simple as that. Next, now you have you'll have two sounds. Make sure each sound is set to the correct type as shown. Music should be set to music and sound effects to sound effects. So if we go on to this one. So this is explosion, it is a sound effects. Let's go to this one, this is music. It is music, which is lucky for us. Okay, with our assets in place, it's time to set up the scene that will function as our main level. Okay, that's the end of part one, and uh, I hope you enjoyed watching it. I hope you learned something as well. Uh, join me for part two, uh, where we're going to be continuing this uh, this tutorial and uh, hopefully finishing off, uh, and, uh, and then we'll look at challenges and look at next steps as well. Uh, thanks very much. Subscribe if you want more uh, stencil video tutorials. Bye-bye now.